morning and good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of DC TV. If you're new to the family, make sure you stick around and hit that sub button. Around here, we do sports podcasts, vlogs, and more. Today's episode is going to be another podcast of what happened to Xavier Rhodes. A few years ago, Xavier Rhodes was a beast. He was easily a top 10 corner in the league, consecutive pro bowler, looked like a future all-time Viking, if not Hall of Famer. But what happened to Xavier Rhodes? Well, let's get into it. Xavier Rhodes was born June 19th, 1990 in Miami, Florida. Xavier was raised in a single-parent home by his mother, Kim Shack. He attended Miami Norland High School in Miami Gardens, where he would be a two-sport star in football and track. In his junior year, he reached more than 1,000 all-purpose yards, and in his senior year, he would lead his school in both rushing and receiving. After it was all said and done, he decided to stay home in the Sunshine State and choose Florida State over West Virginia, Auburn, FIU, and other offers. In Xavier's first season as a Seminole, in 2009, Rhodes would suffer a hand injury after only two games, which would make him use a medical red shirt for the rest of the season. In 2010, as a red shirt freshman, Rhodes started all 14 games as a corner. With his physical physique at 6'1", over 200 pounds, he was a wrecking ball. He would have 12 pass breakups and 4 interceptions and be named National Offensive Freshman of the Year. As a sophomore, not much happened. He was really consistent and played well. But as a junior year, Xavier Rhodes broke into the NFL star he would once be. He earned all ACC honors and played the best in the big games when it counted most. He had an interception in the ACC championship game and a forced fumble in the Orange Bowl against Northern Illinois. In the last 12 games, he was targeted 47 times and only allowed 13 completions for 88 yards. Just incredible numbers. After winning the Orange Bowl in 2013, Rose thought it was good enough to forgo his senior season and enter into the NFL Draft. Xavier entered into the 2013 NFL Draft at 6'1", 210 pounds, and put tremendous numbers up in the combine. He ran a 4-4-3 40-yard dash, had a 40.5-inch vertical, and put up 14 reps on the bar, just showing an all-around f- amazing physique for a corner. In the first round of the 2013 NFL Draft, Xavier Rhodes was selected 25th overall to the Purple People Eaters. The Vikings obtained this pick from the Seattle Seahawks trade that would send Percy Harvin to Seattle in exchange for the first rounder. In his rookie season with the Vikings, he battled behind veterans Chris Cook and Josh Robinson setting for a third cornerback position. It would stay like this until Josh Robinson underwent a fractured sternum and was sidelined for a month. Xavier struggled, but he also learned. He held down a starting spot up until week 15 when he would sustain an ankle injury against the Ravens ending his rookie season. He finished with 48 tackles and 10 pass deflections with 13 games. In 2014, the former Vikings coach Leslie Frazier was let loose, bringing in a defensive star in Mike Zimmer from the Cincinnati Bengals, a defensive coordinator, now getting his first head coaching position with the Vikings. Xavier would win his starting position and would start all 16 games. After another losing season at 7-9, Xavier finished with 49 tackles, a season-high 18 pass deflections, and one interception. Another solid season. 2015 came and Xavier Rose was paired up with Terrence Newman and other first rounder Trey Waynes. He started all 16 games and had a career high 58 tackles, 10 pass deflections, and one interception. Once again, solid numbers, but nothing spectacular. After only two years under Mike Zimmer, the Vikings would finish the season 11 5, good enough to win the NFC North, but unfortunately they would lose in the playoffs by losing a game winning chip shot field goal and would lose 10 9 and. Thank you, Blair Wash. It was like 25 yards. Never forget. Denied. 2016 would roll around, and it would be an outbreak season for Xavier Rhodes. His fifth-year option was up, so the Vikings exercised it, and he was once again paired up with the veteran Terrence Newman. Now, right before the season opener, Rhodes sustained a knee injury while stretching, causing him to be sidelined for two games. But the bounce back Xavier would have would change his career forever. And one of the most notable games for Xavier Rhodes with the Minnesota Vikings facing the New York Giants, Xavier Rhodes had one-on-one coverage with Odell Beckham Jr. the whole game. He held Odell to only five receptions for 23 yards, which was known as one of Odell's worst one-on-one performances in his career to this day. And this is when Odell was popping. He was in his prime. He's still a fantastic receiver today, but this is when Odell was the get the big guy on Madden and everything. Rhodes continued a string of great performances until week 11 where he faced Carson Palmer and the Cardinals. He would have two pass deflections and two interceptions, one of those being a 100-yard touchdown. Palmer sits in, pass picked off. Intercepted by Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes down the sideline and good by touchdown Vikings, no flags. In that game, he had a passer rating of 0.0 when thrown in his coverage, 
and won NFC Defensive Player of the Year. Rhodes was quickly becoming an NFL star and was being noticed by teams all across the league. He finished the season with 52 tackles, 11 pass deflections, 5 interceptions, and a touchdown in only 14 games. On July 30th, 2017, the Minnesota Vikings decided to extend Rhodes to a 5-year, $70 million contract. In 2017, Mike Zimmer in only a few years but a top 5 defense in the league. The Vikings were known for a defense-first team. Xavier Rhodes would be paired up with other first-round pick Trey Waynes, having two cornerbacks that were both selected in first rounds in the past few years. Xavier Rhodes was once again voted into the Pro Bowl and finished the 2017 season with 56 tackles, 10 pass deflections, and 2 interceptions in 16 games. With Case Keenum under the realm of quarterback, the Vikings finished 13-3, and good enough to get a first-round bye in the NFC, and then would go on to play the New Orleans Saints in Minneapolis to play the game known as the Minneapolis Miracle. In that game, Xavier Rhodes had two solo tackles, two pass deflections, and the win. Now in the following week, we all know the Vikings got humiliated by the Philadelphia Eagles. And we all know that score was a huge bubble being 38-7 loss. After the end of the season, Xavier Rhodes was recognized as the 55th best player in the entire NFL. But after that playoff loss, Xavier Rhodes would never be the same player ever again. In 2014, Xavier Rhodes played 14 games. But in almost every single game, he got pulled out by injuries. And if you're a Vikings fan, you know what I mean. Or if you're just watching the games. Xavier Rhodes was constantly taking himself out in every single game. His demeanor was totally different, his attitude became a huge problem, and it seemed like he was always arguing with another teammate or coach on the sideline when he was there. He didn't seem as fast, he was getting burnt by players I never even heard of, and he had so many blown coverages that it was like every Twitter on Sunday, it would just I would just scroll and see posts of blown coverages by Rhodes. And then you would go see him go on the sideline and complain to Harrison Smith or other defensive players trying to talk it out. I mean, he really seemed lost, angry, and confused in almost every single game I watched him. He would finish the 2018 season with a career low in tackles and only had seven pass deflections. But what concerned me most was that previous season he was in the game for 91% of the snaps. It went all the way down to 74%. This wasn't because he had a star talent ahead of him or he had other competition. It was just because simply he was taking himself out all the time because of anger and confusion. And last but not least, in that previous season, he was a top 60 player in that whole NFL. And he dropped all the way from top 60 in NFL to being the 101st ranked cornerback alone in the NFL. In his final season in purple in 2019, it only got worse for Xavier. He started 15 games and had a career-high 63 tackles. Now, I would say that's a good thing that he had a career-high in tackles, but it was really because teams that played the Vikings would target Xavier on purpose, knowing that he couldn't defend anything to save his life, or should I say career. Now, before you get angry, I say this because he had a career low of deflections with six despite how many times he got targeted. He got targeted 70 times, and out of the 70 times, 59 were receptions. If you divide that, that means... 84% of the time the ball was thrown his way, it was a completion. You're telling me a, a cornerback a few years ago, a top 10 cornerback in the league, is now getting thrown at, and if you throw at him, the percent of the pass being complete is 84%. But it's just wow. Like I, I, It's wow. Like I, I don't know how to explain it. And I'm going to use this stat again. A few years ago, he was a top 50 to 60 player in the entire NFL. He now ranked as the 128th defensive back in the whole NFL. If you divide that by 32 evenly, that means he would be a four-string cornerback on any given NFL team. Fourth string. Now with this poor play and terrible chemistry, all people could think to do was to cut him. And that's what the Vikings did. The Vikings saved $8 million in cap space by doing this. But on March 26, 2020, the Indianapolis Colts would decide to give the 29-year-old veteran, former Pro Bowl cornerback, a second chance. In all seriousness, I hope it works out and Xavier Rhodes can amount to something that once was. Now, if you watched the entire video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment for a future video idea here on the Sports Podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I think about you all day, and at night I watch the stars I know love is not a game, but I can't control what my heart. I fucked up so many times, I know you thinking I...